Now let's go through and see if we can figure these out. Okay, what is TRA? What is the measure of this angle? Hmm. Well, it is not a vertical angle to anything that we have that's small. Um, we know this side is 24, but we don't know TRE, so we can't use the fact that we have a diameter. But if you will notice, TD and EB are both diameters. That means we have vertical angles here. This 53 degree angle is a vertical angle with this angle, TRB. So if this side is 53, that means this larger angle over here must be 53. So that means I can just take 53 minus 24 to get the smaller part. Okay, and when I subtract, I get 29. So that means TRA, and I'll just jot that over here, TRA is 29 degrees. Okay, so that's 29 degrees for your first answer. Let's go down, BRC, so I'm going down the column, B to R to C. Hmm. We don't know this angle, or do we? Hmm. This arc, DC, is 87, so what do we know? That angle right here must be 87 also. Okay, we know that EB is a diameter, that means this whole side is 180. So if this side is 180, I can take 53 and 87 and add those together. When I add those together, I get 140. Okay, so if this portion is 140 and I have a diameter, that leaves 40 for this part because I would take 180 minus 140 and that would leave me with 40 degrees left for this angle right here, BRC. So that means BRC is 40 degrees. Okay, ED. Now we're looking for an arc. Okay, ED is this arc up here. Well, we know it is the same as the central angle. So if this angle is 53, that means that arc must also be 53. That one was an easy one. Okay. How about T to B? Okay, TB, again, this is an arc. We know that TB is the same as this central angle, and we figured out this ang central angle is the sum of these two. So the measure of TB, that arc, has to be 53 degrees also. Okay, how about TE? The measure of TE. Well, we haven't really figured this one out yet, but we know, and we can do this actually two different ways. I can go ahead and say, well, this is 50, these two add up to 53. So 180 minus 53 gives me 127. So that means this angle is 127, which means the arc associated with it would also be 127. So the measure of arc TE is 127. Okay? So that's, that's what we have so far. Now let's go over to the next column. So we're looking here. Um, the measure of DRC. D to R to C. Well, that one's too easy. DRC is just 87 angle. DRC is 87. That was given to us because the arc is the same as the angle. T R E, T to R to E, the measure of that angle, we've already figured it out, and it is 127. Okay, the measure of T E D, TED. Let's see if we can find that arc. T to E to D. So from here all the way over. Well, what do we know about T D? TD is a diameter, so either side of these, TED or TBD, would be, have to be 180. It's a semicircle. Okay, how about the measure of BD? Okay, B to D. Well, this arc, they're asking for an arc this time. We would just take the two angles and add them together. 87 and 40 is what, 127? Yep, because it's also a vertical angle with this one, isn't it? Those two are vertical. 
Okay, and then the last one is arc AB. So let's look at AB. The measure of arc AB is going to be the same as its central angle. So that one's pretty easy, and that's just 24 degrees. Okay, so there is the whole first sheet. Now let's name a major arc. Out of all these arcs, do we have a major arc? We don't. So let's, let's create one. We have to go more than 180 degrees. So I'm just going to pick A. I'm going to go A to B, but I have to go more than half the circle. So I'm going to do A, B, E. So my major arc is going to be arc A, B, E. Now you could name another one. And 